Hello and welcome to C2 Biosciences Test Method Introduction Series. In this video, we'll provide some insight into ISO 21702 testing. Please note that this video is not meant to be a comprehensive analysis of this type of testing, but rather offer basic information for customers to consider. As always, please make sure to submit a quote request and we'll be more than happy to discuss your project's details. Here's an outline of the topics we'll discuss in this video. ISO 21702 Basic Introduction Contact Time Information Relevant Virus Information Relevant Product Testing Challenges Durability and Performance Testing Considerations Inherent Cytotoxicity Optimization Examples of Commonly Tested Materials And the Conclusion That being said, let's get started. ISO 21702 is an antimicrobial surface test that performs a measurement of antiviral activity on plastics and other non-porous surfaces. The standard ISO 21702 test method is designed to test the ability of plastics and other similar materials to kill viruses that have come into contact with the surface of the treated material. It is generally used with different viruses that can be substituted depending on the needs of the customer. As a surface test, it is not intended for products that can absorb liquids. ISO 21702 is conducted over a 24-hour period of contact with the virus. However, shorter intervals are commonly tested. Standard antiviral testing for ISO 21702 is conducted using influenza A virus and feline Khaleesi virus as examples. Antimicrobial plastics may meet the requirements of ISO 21702. However, when conditioned in simulated environments, treated plastics may not continue to work as intended. This is why it's important to incorporate environmental conditions into testing like UV exposure, humidity, and use durability, such as wiping, that may affect the efficacy of an antiviral plastic. As such, many customers will request durability testing in tandem with ISO 21702 testing to determine a product's antimicrobial performance against viruses when exposed to environmental conditions. This combination can help reduce the time and cost associated with developing a finished product in addition to complementing performance testing. Learn more about durability testing through soiling by visiting our C2 short video on this topic. One of the details we review when generating a preliminary quote for ISO 21702 is in regards to inherent cytotoxicity, which is optional but nonetheless significant. It has to do with test sample neutralization validation and if approved, is determined prior to formal testing. Learn more about inherent cytotoxicity by visiting our C2 short video on this topic. Here are some examples of commonly tested materials that showcase the versatility ISO 21702 testing offers. Flat, curved, and complex surfaces, paints, sprays, plastics, coating materials, ceramics, natural and artificial leathers, elastomers, and other non-porous surfaces. That's going to do it for this video. If you've learned something new today about ISO 21702 testing, let us know in the comments and stay tuned for more from C2 Biosciences.